Welcome back. I'm MTG Joe, and today we're going to be firing up another budget, mid budget, no budget build. Uh, this time we're going to be playing Is It Colors, so blue and red. And we're going to be starting off with a ultra budget, so completely commons and uncommons only in both the main board and the sideboard, with exception of the mana base, where we have uh, four of the shock lands, four of the dual lands. Uh, the check lands or buddy lands as they're usually referred to. Important to have a good mana base, especially when demoing the deck, but in a pinch you can just play uh, guild gates or uh, the tap lands. So this deck is frequently referred to as a Drake style deck, uh, namely between the two cards Enigma Drake and Crackling Drake. Uh, so these creatures here um, basically allow you to get benefit from playing a lot of spells. They get a lot bigger in terms of their power and toughness. Crackling Drake also draws us a card. Um, and we're going to pair that up with my favorite. So other than Soren, Zaheli is my favorite Planeswalker from the new set. Uh, so Sublime Artificer. So whenever we cast a non-creature spell, so anything other than our two Drakes that we play, uh, we get to create a 1-1 colorless servo token. And then with those tokens, we can have those tokens copy a drake that comes in and sometimes surprise kill our opponent. Um, so the rest of the deck, we have dive downs to protect our drakes. We're only playing four creatures main. Uh, four ops to, for a card draw. Uh, just a bunch of cycling cards, really. You have charter courses to cycle. You have uh, discovery to cycle cards. Um, we have spell pierces disruption along with a negate main board. Uh, maximize velocity as a one of to kind of surprise kill our opponents with a drake. We could also mill it over, which is useful. Um, we have shocks, um, and I'm playing lightning strike main as opposed to lava coil because it's always an active card, and we can hit our opponent's face if we have a Sahili out. Lava coil at times can get stuck in hand. We are playing four lava coils in the sideboard if need be. And then we have our drakes and one uh, beacon or bacon bolt, as I like to call it. Uh, just as a bigger kill spell that basically has two options there. Uh, the sideboard again, completely uncommons and commons. The main thing we're missing out in the sideboard is usually one to two Rals, uh, the old one or the new one, and then uh, a couple of Niv Mizzets as well when we go bigger. Uh, so what we're getting here is Blink of an Eye to deal with Resolve Planeswalkers or another answer to like a, rec a Wilderness Reclamation. More Negates versus the Control matchup. Lava Coils where we need them, against like Gruel, stuff like that. A couple Narsets versus card draw decks. Fiery Cannonade versus Swarm decks. And uh, Kashmina, oh, come up. Kashmina, uh, basically it is a tax. So for decks with like cast downs, mortifies, like targeted removal, it makes them cost two more. And then it can also, don't know why that's not coming up, anyways. Um, we can also create some uh, tokens as well as pressure. Um, I was going back and forth between Kashmina and Tybalt against like the life gain decks, uh, but we'll try Kashmina first. Uh, of note, I'm not playing Augur of Bolas. Um, I want to keep a high enough density of spells, and I'm not playing uh, the Electro uh, Goblin Electromancer uh, because those are more of the Phoenix style decks, which we'll play in like a mid tier budget. Um, so we'll try these out. Uh, so the biggest weakness this deck is usually swarm decks, the ones that go really wide because we have a hard time dealing with that. Um, but we'll play and see how it goes. So for those of you who are new tuning into the channel for the first time, I'm MTG Joe. We play everything from budget, super budget decks, to fun brews, uh, to tier 1 decks. Um, I'm really active on the Arena subreddit, uh, answering questions, brewing together with the folks, so come join over there. And if you are enjoying the content, something that goes a long way to help the channel is hitting the subscribe button. It costs you absolutely nothing, and it helps me to continue putting put out content. Alrighty. Uh, kill if we need to on one, discovery on two, Sahili on three. Uh, here, just play this tapped. Not sure what the opponent's on yet. Okay, Grixis. This will give us the best look for a land. 
It's quite aggressive by the opponent. So this looks like hard Grixis control. Uh, we will discard the shock. So it's hoping to draw a land there. Um, yeah, we'll keep the threat. So we can hold up Spell Pierce, if need be. Okay, so that signifies to me a counter. So we're just going to throw out the Drake here. I want him to burn stuff. Us missing that turn to get Sahili down hurts. We'll see if they have another counter here. We can also spell pierce it. So they can have Vraska's Contempt or Bedevil. So or even Nicol Bolas. Okay, so they have Ral. Search for the think you can beat me? You're welcome to try. Ral can kill a Drake here. This gives us a redraw, and they can down tick, so at least it keeps Ral off the ultimate. Hmm. Okay, so likely they have a removal. That's fine, we have the hostage take, we can get rid of this. Uh, here I'm just going to dump the other Sahili. So that gets us our Drake back, draws us another card, which is great. Uh, here, I'm going to chart a course first, and just discard the island. Say go. So the nice thing is next turn, we if even if they deal with the Drake, which they will, we can play out another Drake, get one of these to clone it, and then attack into Ral. Hope we get something good. Okay, we can also beacon bolt the zombie. So this is one of the cool interactions with the deck. Do I have your attention now? So we can just kill this. And that was a big play for us to get that off the board. Here we'll just hold up the dive down this turn. No sense of overcommitting. Stops him from attacking as well, and I think we're in some pretty good shape here. Uh, we do have lethal, cool. So, you copy you. Genius is as genius does. I'll attack, and then just lightning strike them. And that's where the deck could win out of nowhere. So against a pretty rare heavy Grixis build. Alright, so in this matchup, Kajmina's good. We want negates. They didn't really show card draw. Blink of an eyes we want. Uh, what do we want to get rid of? Probably chart of course is the weakest card draw spell here. 
and then probably the lightning strike. This is a quick way to get rid of Thief. Because we need answers there. Still want a density of threats. Actually, Lightning Strike is better because it can get rid of Hostage Taker. Which they did show that game. Okay, let's run this. They're most likely bringing in Thief of Sanity, so we might have to revert back. But we got the first game, which is good. We'll keep this hand. Generally against Grixis, you don't want a mulligan. Uh, the fact that they have so many uh, discard effects. Uh, here we'll let him resolve. They're going to take the Saheeli. Generally, I, I wait for card draw. Uh, I think we just... Come on, mouse is sticking. So there was a play to play the steam vents, but we'll see. Uh, here, I'm just gonna play this out tap this turn. So we're doing this because I want to try to get the Drake with a dive down to protect it. Okay, so they tapped out here. We'll see what they take. Okay, they take the Kashmina. Got spell wise, just one. Okay, so we can dive down this turn. If they play a planeswalker, we could blink it. That was probably the worst. They can get our Sahili. That was a misplay on my part. Should have played the land first to keep up a blue spell. Uh, here. Let's get rid of the lightning strike. This digs us deeper. Yeah. Got us this one. We could delay this, but it doesn't really do much. All right, so I think we run it back. They're gonna have the draws, like with the disruption of the picking apart our hand, it's gonna be tough. So again, shock on one. Uh, I'm going to hang on to the shock because it makes a token. We need to dig for a land here. Good with both these. So here if we can dodge a thought erasure this turn it would be good. Alright. No negate, no negate, no negate. Yep. Sweet. Now we're not tapping out. And just past turn. I wanted to do the thief there in case they had a counter spell.
So here I'm just going to be mana efficient and lightning strike this. And that's two thieves saw it out of the way. And there's no sense of down ticking Sahili. Probably okay with another spell pierce to be honest. Like if we if they have another thief, we just play out the Drake. It's pretty nuts. Triple thief. So here I probably want a clean answer. Play this out. Then we have both negate and spell pierce. Wanna start putting some pressure on the opponent. I know how to stop you. Uh let's just attack with all. Keep, they've missed land drops two turns in a row. We're spell piercing here because negates unconditional. Yeah. An opponent concedes. So taking down Grixis with basically no rares, no mythics. Alright. Because people have been asking as well how decks fare in best of one. I'll do one like ranked best of three, or one uh, best of three and one best of one. Uh, it's a little bit easier for me to comment on how the decks fare when I play them in both. I've been playing pretty much all best of three recently, so this gives us a better idea for those who have been asking on Reddit. I'll keep this hand. So I'm going to actually shock here because this gives us the most flexibility in terms of whether we opt or shock. It does uh, inform the opponent that we are playing blue-red as opposed to just something in blue. But it's probably less indicative in best of one where Nexus isn't around. Here we pretty much want to find our third land for Sahili. This will be an interesting matchup. Okay, so there's our land. So with this first opt, we want to try to find another, like, shock. See if they spell pierce us here. Uh, mm, let's see what we got. Okay, lightning strike's good. Spell pierce is also good, so I think I'm gonna keep the spell pierce. So I'm doing this and taking a turn, okay, so they had the negate, which Honestly, it's fine. I wanted to take that turn off. Um, the reason being, they held up two mana, that's both Spell Pierce, and in this case, Negate. They sometimes play Quench. So, 
They can't kill Sahili, but it's basically dead. So it's missing the land there hurts. Yeah, I think we just do this. We're dead to a Curious Obsession. So we'll probably wrap it up if they do hit that. Sahili basically has no text. Um, for like blockers, everything flies for the most part, so it's tough. Yeah. So, if they counter this. Uh, they opt, so maybe. We did get no value off the Sahili. This game is pretty much over. Let me run another one back. There's no way for us to come back from this. We can trade here, but they still take down Sahili and then... Okay. So we'll see how this one goes. That's a match where not playing Lava Coil main hurts. Keep this... I think Sahili might give us a, enough of an edge against w White Weenie, where before it was pretty much unwinnable. Might make the matchup a little better. Looking for something on two. Okay. So it's Weenies or tokens. I'll take that. Just pass the turn here. See what they play out on to kill whatever's worse. Okay, so a Danto. Bye. So if we don't have a. Sp oh, okay, so we have the shock as well. So I'm going to use the first Sahili just to soak up some damage. They'll get it down to two. Hopefully draw land so we can play both the Drake and Shock. Not terrible. If they wasted on that as opposed to the Drake. Perfect. Uh, let's go big one first. It'll draw us another card. I'm not gonna shock whatever they play anyways. Okay, so it's another thing at least. This is the life gain variant. I'm not gonna block here. Gonna play out Sahili here. Pass the turn. So they just attack with that. I'm gonna shock. Okay. Uh, so opponent's forcing our hand here. to the face. There's no... Actually, it made more sense to do the Vanguard. We would have taken 4 damage. That's a mistake.
Okay, so next turn we can Enigma Drake. If they're attacking me, I'm not going to block this turn. Let's chart a course first. Let's give us the most information. That'll be good later. Pass the turn this turn. So I want to try to. I don't think we could set up a turn where we just win outright. No blocks here. So let's see. So this that's plus one one. So it's five, ten, fifteen. We can make another copy twenty. This becomes one lower, but that gets one higher, so it cancels out. Twenty. And then that's two damage it's 23 so we're short one still so here let's just play out another one okay so here no attacks One there. Okay. So let's see, we get two more in the grave. So we shock this. That's eighteen, twenty-four, and then shock them. Yeah, that should get it. So shock this. So it's eighteen twenty four. You copy you. And opponent concedes. Yeah. So that's a great demo of the deck, and we bet a swarm deck, which was really happy with. Um, so that's the deck. Uh, you saw it in a couple iterations. Um, so I'll be uploading in a couple days the mid-budget and then um, no-budget builds. Uh, if you have any questions, drop a comment, and the full write-up will be uh, up on Reddit once everything is complete. Uh, thanks for watching, and if you haven't done so, please make sure to subscribe. Have a great one.